Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> what a weird introduction to this video. Hello, my name is Kirsten um, from The Artful Aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching. I'm assuming you're watching this today because you're into Midori or Traveler's Company, Traveler's Notebooks, which as am I, my friend, as am I. You can see over to the side there, I have my regular size and my passport size um, in camel. And so what I'm unboxing today is my brand new mini camel traveler's notebook. Um, I'm looking through what's in the box first, trying to have some self-control and um, delayed gratification. So you can see just as a size comparison, if you know those little brass hands, it's the box is incredibly small and ah, it's even smaller when you open it. Oh my gosh. It was just, it was so cute. It is so cute. I still have it, but I'm doing a voiceover. So I'm just watching myself unbox it now. Um, it, it actually makes me want to get it out. I keep it in my little manual factory bears apron, but man, this is a cute little tiny journal. Um, when you look at it, you can see on the inside, there's one elastic, just like a real, or a not real, but a larger size Midori Traveler's Notebook. On the back, it says 10th Traveler's Notebook. So it's because it's the 10th anniversary um, edition. So I'm taking out all the other stuff that's in here. So there was an extra elastic, and then there was a tiny, tiny little charm that has TRC, which pretty safe assumption that stands for Traveler's Company which is actually what these are called, not Midori, um, old habits, die hard, I suppose. And then it doesn't come with inserts. It comes with papers so you can make your own inserts, which was fine by me. Um, I love having to put in extra effort <laughs> to make anything. Honestly, it sounds like I'm being facetious, but I really do. I think that's why I like leather so much because it takes a while for it to gain a beautiful patina. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort. And so right now I'm just going through all the little pieces of paper, making my very own inserts. And I'm using a Tim Holtz, I think it's called a tiny attacher, which I never understood what that was when other people referred to it. I thought that it was just a stapler, but turns out it is like little tiny, little bitty miniature staples. So if you're going to make um, some of these miniature inserts, I'm going to recommend the Tim Holtz tiny attacher because they're the perfect, perfect size for it. So I'm just kind of looking through what the papers were. I realized there might be instructions or something that I need to be looking at. There's a little like newspaper of all the different things that Traveler's Company has made, which makes me want all of them. It's a perfect marketing tool. Now I'm going through and just creating the rest of my little notebooks and using my little tiny, tiny attacher. I hope that's what it's called, but I'm sure you can, you'll find it on Amazon. Maybe I'll link it below if I can remember to do that. Um, it came with little cardboard pieces of paper too that I could, you can make the, um, notebook cover out of it. I mean, it truly really mimics the larger size passport and regular size traveler's company inserts. And so I'm just finishing up doing that now. It was harder than I anticipated to staple on a straight line, but nobody's asking for this to be perfection, Kirsten, so it's okay. Now I'm taking the two little bookmarks. So that's one thing that was different is it's two bookmarks instead of one. Um, I don't know why, but I'm taking that and I'm attaching the little, or at least I was trying to. Maybe I didn't end up doing it. <laughs> it I think it was harder than I thought it would be more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, so I put a little sticker that came with the insert on the front of the cover. Trying to figure out how to attach the little charm. I was, I was considering maybe I would cut one of the bookmarks off or just tie it to one, but what I ended up doing was tying the little charm to both bookmarks. Um, I think it looks fine like that. It doesn't look exactly like an exact replica of the larger ones just because they only have one string but I can live with it I can live with it so anyway that was my 
little mini traveler's notebook. It is adorable. I actually have a video coming out right after this of me using it to um, draw in so you can see what it what the process of art journaling in one of these looks like. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.